because you know that I'm now with xylophone. And this is where all the money is. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. That is true. Wow. This is all, all the money is. My boss is the richest in Ghana. Richest man in Ghana. Yes. My boss is the richest man in Ghana. Nana Piamensa. Nana Piamensa. For real. Then you are chilling now. <laughs> chilling. Well, for me, money is not my focus. But I need money to be able to reach out to the society in a certain way. You understand? To put up a show, I need money. I cannot go to a man and ask him to bring me a stage for free because I'm the servant of God. No. I got to pay people. When people are suffering in the ghetto and they need food to eat, I can't go and stand and command manna to come from there. Maybe someday God will give me that power. But for now, I have to buy food to go and give them. So how much did it cost the richest man in Ghana to bring you to Xylophone? Well, it didn't cost much. I mean, it's not a secret. I, have, I told everybody before I came to uh, Xylophone that anybody who was interested in signing me must give me 100,000 Ghana cities. So that was the poaching fee? That was what was supposed to be given to me before I would listen to you. And then you have to be able to give me the morning show or the drive time. It's in the papers, I mean, in the past, before I came here. So, so many stations called me, spoke with me. Sometimes we're not able to come to that agreement. But when Xylophone came, they said, oh, we can give you more than that. So you we know your value. Of course, yes. Can we know? Of course, I had more than that. You see, you see, the thing about mentioning figures, that, oh, maybe I had two Ghana cities, five Ghana cities, some other person who thinks that he's contributing more than me at xylophone. Maybe he didn't get that. Or another person somewhere thinking that, oh, me and Black Rasta should be in the same category and didn't get that. Either it brings his spirit down or it makes him jealous. So I normally try to avoid mentioning figures. But it's not all about figures. You see, they gave me a fresh car that I use. For the first time, I'm driving a brand new car. I'm not ashamed to say that all the cars I've driven in my life have all been uh, home-used cars. The so-called home-used cars, second-hand cars. But they say home-use. All the cars I've driven in my life. I'm not ashamed. He gave me a fresh car. Tear rubber, what we call tear rubber. With a fridge in it. When I sit in it and I want to drink some cold uh, juice, I pull it out and I pull out my, my juice and I drink. See Tear rubber. If I wouldn't be grateful to a man like that. And then me a for pa. 